What's up, what's up, what's up, TNK Total Knockout Squad? Good morning, guys. Guess what? I got a surprise coming for Kawana today. She don't know it's coming, but I had to purchase her a washer and dryer. We had to go to the laundromat the other day, washer and dryer both, start acting up on it. So, hey, guys, TNK Total Knockout Game. We here at the laundromat. Our washer and dryer went out. So we out here washing our clothes at the laundromat on this tough time. Kawanda back there. That's it. Kawanda, you having fun at the laundromat? Oh God, do not. We at the laundromat. Yes, we are. I hate the laundromat, guys. I do. This is probably the nastiest place in your life. I hate it. This, I heard her complaining about them, so I went and purchased her one. So I'm going to surprise her with it today, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, and yeah, please excuse me for my roughness. Haven't been able to go to the barber shop right about now. Got to wait till everything open back up because of the pandemic, COVID-19. Got us on house arrest, but yeah, I'm gonna surprise you guys. Y'all stay tuned. So what's up, guys? We're number seven on the uh, drop off list, and I think they're number five. So it's getting closer to the washer and dryer getting here, guys. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, the truck is here. Getting ready to deliver the washer and dryer. Get ready to have Kawana to come out and check it. She don't know that it's here right now. Hey guys, they are here. <laughs> Truck is out here. See the washer and dryer on the back. Champagne color. Yeah. Ah. Shit. Look what you got back. Look what you got. Your washer and dryer. Oh my god. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Really? Really. And they're gonna take the old one away. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up. Already on the stand. I'm having to leave them out a little bit from the uh from that shelf that's in there. <laughs> oh, Them things hot, ain't they? What you want to say about your uh, your new washer and dryer? What to say? You don't know what to say. Oh my god! You ain't excited. I am too excited. She excited, oh, y'all. Stand up, champagne color, Samsung. Those things are dope. Yeah, boy. The moans. Look how they moving that washer and dryer, man. That shit neat. Oh yeah. Huh? You want to be on there? Oh yeah. Oh, you're on phone with nah, it's gonna be on YouTube. Gonna be on YouTube. Washer and dryer. It's that champagne color. The thing popping. It's nice. So now she be able to wash her clothes. Cause going to the laundry mat, man, that wasn't gonna work out. Like I said, it's nothing wrong with the laundry mat. But here's her new washer and dryer. You know, put a smile on her face. And these times we going through and our washer and dryer wanted to go out on us and look, boom, we back in business. Samsung stand up joints. I love them. It's got the towels on here. Really? Shut up. Like at a lot, it's almost like being at a laundry. Oh my man. God. You done outdid yourself this time. <laughs> 
Look at him, look at him, look at her, y'all. She excited. Oh my god! This is letting, too much! We letting them work now. Dryer on. Dryer working and a washer. Wow. You did a good job. I did. That champagne. That I picked out that color. Oh. That champagne. That champagne. I don't even know how to work it. Maybe you just started from uh, 20 minutes. Let's see. Okay, it's on normal. Give it a time. How do you know how to work it? Because. You watched them? No, I didn't really, but put it on normal. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. Eco. This is oh my god. Do you know how long I've been on one of these things? Oh, um, so yeah guys, we gotta learn how to work on these things. We gotta learn how to use Where's the book? So the, I put the book down in the bottom little shelf down there. So, oh yeah. Lord, you can't tell me nothing. Look at her, look at her, y'all. Oh my God. Hold to start. What's under here? Oh. Shut up. Yeah, we got the little compartments up under there. Wow. So you press hold to start right here. It says it on there, that play button. And I guess that stops so it too. So does that mean it's 42 minutes? Yeah. Oh, we don't want that. We need Prime to turn time, that down. It's just Shut time. Up. Oh my God. Ah! Is it singing? Yeah. She is excited, y'all. She is excited. What are you doing? She's excited. Turn the volume down on that high def right there. <laughs> Look at her, y'all. She is excited. Call her. Who you calling her? Look at her! Uh, oh, no, what you say? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Y'all hear you singing the song, guys? Shut up! That's all right, that's all right! See the color? That's that Champizzle. You had help Samsung. picking this out, didn't you? No, I didn't. I got taste, baby. For real? I got taste when it comes to picking things out. Give me some credit. Wow. You know? She excited. Then you put the little stuff down in there. Ooh. This is something yeah. else. It's nice. Wow. It's neat. You know? This hey, is my baby's present. Yourself. A woman always need a good washer and dryer to wash the clothes. Keep the house what in What you trying to say? Keep that house in you check. You will be washing too. I ain't washing Not just nothing. me. I do other stuff around the house, y'all. So you I ain't. You do, but you. I ain't. I know, Chad, you'll be in here trying to test this machine out. I know. Oh, you know I am. You know I'm going to play with it because I love toys. I love all new toys. I love everything. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, I bet not see any clothes stacked up and needing to be He is not talking to me. You watch. You better be in this laundry room putting this thing to use all the time. You know because Women just got tons of stuff, man. They got a lot of stuff, and they can go months and months and months without having certain things. Men, we can't go months and months and months without Ooh. having. You talking to? I'm talking to. 
Team K told the knockout squad. Really? Yeah, they watching us. You didn't know that? I thought you told me TNK. I got to watch because I got a new set now. You, she got a new set, so she's going to have to be in here busy, y'all. I mean, like, all the time busy. Because this ain't cheap at all. So she going to have to get some use out of that. You know how you buy a new car? People be scared to put their miles on it. You buy that new car, put that miles on it. Put the miles on this washer and dryer. Yeah, boy, we're going to see how this thing do. You are too much. <laughs> too much. Yeah. So I'd like to thank the guys who had dropped this off to us, who had delivered it to us, man. They did a great job. Awesome job. And carrying the old ones out. They took the old ones away with them. They did an awesome job on that. So I wanna I wanna thank you guys who delivered the wash and dryer to us. Thank you guys for the hard work that you guys do. And putting this in place and hooking it up, guys. She's excited. I bought this for her as a gift because the old ones were going bad. And I heard her complain about it. So I said, let me get my lady a wash. So we here at Burger King um, where they snatch something to eat real quick. We Hi, go. guys. I'm still excited. We got to go meet the person who helped us design our TNK Total Knockout shirts. We got to get some more shirts. Grab them from her and then we're gonna go to the town <laughs> place. Oh, coughing. Rona! No, baby, that's my sinuses <laughs> and my allergies. Are you Rona. serious? No. But no. <laughs> Get on so, my nerves. I was so embarrassed I had to sneeze the other day because you know the allergies and stuff like that. I was in the uh you bet gas I station sneeze a and I said <clears throat> inside my mask, I'm like, oh man. Hope that nobody start trying to whoop on me for sneezing in my mask. Yeah, they'll man. beat you up right about now. <laughs> but yeah. This thing's serious. We Play gonna, with. We're going to go to the uh, towel place so we're going to get that towel for the uh, kitchen. We're going to do a backsplash. Yeah, boy. So hopefully we can find some good towel while we're there and we can bring it home with us today. I'm hoping we find something nice up there. Cause we want to make the kitchen look a little nice, do a nice little backsplash. What's up guys? We went to go and look for the towel for the uh, kitchen and they're doing online orders only. And, only and then pick up at the curb. Yeah. So now we got to go home, and order it sit online. down and order it online and then hopefully maybe go and pick it up tomorrow or something curbside. And get this backsplash put up in the kitchen you know but we were sitting in here we was talking about like how some people would be mad and jealous at you for your accomplishments and mad because they're not in a certain position so some people don't like you or don't have good things to say about you and my thing is, God give you the wisdom to think further than where you're at. So, he only going to give you so much you can handle, right? So, where you can, what you can handle is, wherever your mentality is at right there at that moment, then that's where you're going to operate at. So, if you beyond your means, it's not God's fault. You just got to take your mind outside the box and think of a way of, to be creative, to create other cash flow to be able to live at those means. You know, you can't go out here and buying up everything and your money don't match up with it. That's, that's right. not that's not God's fault. People got these stimulus checks and God knows where the money going. I got a client that work at Walmart. She said, you wouldn't believe how many people done came in and bought flat screen TVs. I'm just floored. You need not to be spending your money at this present time because you you don't know what's getting ready to take place, what's getting ready to go on. I advise everybody to be stashing their money, putting their money up, putting it back. And while you at home under this quarantine, you need to be studying. Get, getting different careers and doing different opportunities. You ought to be reading, doing something to make it, uh, get your life in a better position than what is in. That's, I know that's all I've been doing. This quarantine has really taught me a lesson. 
I know we all work nine to five jobs or whatever, but this thing has really made me really think about what am I doing on my job per se. I don't know if it's me wanting to retire early or finding me something to do, but my life is precious. Very precious to me. So this thing has really, really been nugging at my brain, my nerves, everything. I just don't sit down and analyze everything. So I don't know if it's time for me to step out and move or do something. We, we got to stop being lazy as individuals and do what was planted in us to do. It's crazy how people just sit back and just don't want to do and be mad at the next person for doing. You can't be mad at nobody but yourself. So why are you hating on me because cause I'm doing and you ain't? That that don't make sense to me. Clearly does not make sense. You see, oh. here's my thing. <clears throat> I wanted like a total of four kids. Really bad? All my four kids? Yeah, because, okay, look at it. I only had two and really stopped at one because where my mind is at now, I wasn't thinking that way then. I didn't want none. So, so what I'm saying for that is I stopped at one kid because I knew I didn't want to keep splurging out so much money, right? The more we have kids, that's more money you got to spit out and you can't chase your goals and dreams because of where the, where the mind is at. Mm -hmm. So that way, if you if, if God give you that wisdom and he's giving you, uh, not giving you more than you could bear, you can't be putting on more than you could bear and you know you at this limit of life. You at this certain certain point in your life that where you're, you don't have it going on like that. So my thing is, I was like, okay, one kid is good enough for me because I know what having this one kid I gotta spend this kind of money and then when I had my second one it was all good so what I did was when I had my second one I tried to push myself further than having that second one to have the things that I wanted mm -hmm. so if you want something out of life and you want to have more you gotta sit down and think and be creative on how to have more college ain't for everybody so everybody not gonna go to college we know that but you gotta figure out what's your what's your dream, like what's your goal, so you could you could tap into that and and be successful in life. Yeah, a lot of times we want to sit back and we want to say, oh yeah, God gonna bless me if I do this. Yeah, He's gonna bless you when you take your mind further than where you're at in life to be able to have more. He's not gonna give you more if you're only thinking at this status. He's not going to give you more if you ain't moving anyway. Yeah, so you got to be moving. That's just like if you're in a relationship. It's the power that working in you. So you got to do something to make God move. You, you got to move. You can't just sit there and wait on God to do everything for you. And you can't look at the next person and be wondering, Oh God, look at them. Look at them. No, do for you. Do for you. You got to make things happen for you. And so like coming back, thinking about relationships somebody got to have some drive to be able to motivate the next person in the relationship then when they get to a certain amount of drive they might motivate you to move to a certain point in life you can't be two people in the relationship and not That's having no drive That's right. neither one of y'all have drive about nothing you got to have some drive nobody what's up guys me back to you guys what <laughs> Yeah, TNK Total Knockout Squad hanging out with us today. We'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with us today. So Big we, shout out to Wide Press Enterprises. Wide Press. For our shirts. Yeah, they custom did our shirts. Check them out on Facebook. Check out the back. Check out the back. If you noticed earlier today, I didn't have mine on because they had made mine too small for me. And, you know, they remade me one and told me to come and pick it up the same day. So... Yeah. Shout out to Wyatt Enterprises. <laughs> they made it too small for her. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, it was a baby shirt. It was a, <laughs> it was a baby, baby shirt. Gap shirt. Baby shirt. Baby Gap. From Baby Gap. <laughs> baby Gap. Mm -hmm. Nah, but we... <laughs> 
We gonna get up in tomorrow and start a workout, man. This is a time where you really should be working out because you ain't got nothing else to do. But we've been we've been trying to do little chores and getting caught up. So working out. I know like, I got a lot of chores to do. I got new washing those. machine and dryer. Thanks to my baby. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start our workout on Sunday and we're gonna go from there on out because I'm telling you it's about to be warm outside I know I didn't picked up at least a good 10 pounds so I got to get that back off of me because guys I do not like carrying it messing around with her eating these fatty snacks and stuff really yeah making peach cobbler around here banana bread and ice cream with caramel and those are comfort foods we need to be comforted right now in <laughs> no, this pandemic we need to be dieting right now <laughs> getting as healthy uh getting healthy as we can you know but yeah guys leave us in the comment in the comments below tell us if you like our shirts no hate we don't like haters on here we don't do no hating yeah we do oh we do we love yeah, them we love them, we love them. Yeah. what they say make your haters your motivators Yep. That's right. Yeah, guys. So, look. Thank you for hanging out with us today. we like to thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. we like to thank you guys for getting us some help on subscribing to our channel. We're trying to reach this 100 goal, guys. Please help us out. Give us a thumbs up. And I got some watching to do. Share this video. And we got to break in the twins. The washer and dryer. What's that name? The, the paradise washer. is the washer. Paradise <laughs> is the washer. <laughs> and Horizon no. is the dryer. Oh, that was her. I named them. I, I gave, got twins, guys. I, I gave the washer. I got new twins back there. I gave the washer and dryer. The washer name was so so fresh and so clean. And the dryer was what? Forever dry. But we're going to go with her name, whatever she said. Paradise and Horizon. Paradise and Horizon. They some beautiful twins, man. That champagne color. Oh, man. I picked a good color. Didn't you I? did. You did. I was yep. proud. I'm so, happy. We're going to be doing the thing around here. We was at the laundromat. When oh. we first started acting up. Oh. I hate the laundromat. <laughs> man. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. You know, you go in there. Like, if they crowd it, that's when the laundromat could be a headache. But if you go to a laundromat that is, like, well kept up, it's clean, it won't hurt you. But when it crowd it, and see around this time, you know, when you're coming around so many people, you never know who might be positive for the coronavirus, and you're in there. But we do wear our masks, our gloves, try to stay as safe as possible. Keeping clean around the house, spraying ourselves down with some light saw, washing our hands all the time. Yep. Try to stay safe. Y'all stay safe too, guys. Yeah. And keep our dog in prayer. Guys. Keep our dog in prayer. <clears throat> we took him to the vet and somehow or another his hip no got broke, which I the devil is a lot. But I know they did something to King. So keep us in prayer. We love you. So we took him back to the vet and our, <laughs> the x-ray shows the hip is messed up. He don't play with me no more like he used to. So I know they had to do something to our dog. So keep our dog in prayer that they could fix his hip and we don't have to put him to sleep. Because that's our buddy. He's medicine. He is. Love you guys. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Peace. Peace. Peace.